Grace and peace to you from God our Father and from our Lord Jesus Christ. For today's meditation, let us meditate on the Gospel of John chapter 15 and verse number 5. And Jesus said, I am the vine, you are the branches. He who abides in me and I in him bears much fruit. For without me you can do nothing. Let us look to the Lord in prayer. God the word speak to us touch us transform us so that we would become more and more like Jesus therefore holy spirit rest upon us holy spirit guide us holy spirit possess us in the name of Jesus we pray amen now let me share a brief background about this passage a vine denotes spiritual good and being spiritual is described as a vineyard that bears fruit a fruitful vine in the old testament is often symbolized as obedient israel or the people of god and the vineyard imagery symbolizes the kingdom of god now let us meditate on the verse what jesus meant to say i am the vine and you are the branches the first point is abiding to fruition Jesus said if you abide in me you will bear fruit now there are many synonyms for abide one is enduring second is lasting third is lifelong and continual we all know that branches bear leaves and fruit and we also know that some branches are leafy and some branches are fruitful and when jesus said that you cannot bear fruit without me it is also clear that jesus is the word of god and without the word of god we cannot bear fruit the one sign that we abide in jesus is when the word of god flows out of our lips that means we speak words that bring healing than hurt which means that words should never become a weapon and once we start living to the very letter in the word we have started to bear fruit a best illustration is of a tree that bears fruit and i was watching the video of a gardener showing techniques as how to make the mulberry tree more fruitful and it was the season of fruition and the gardener was cutting the branches that were leafy because what happens is that during the time of fruition the branches that bear much fruit will not be able to take much nutrients from the main stem that is called the vine so in the process of cutting the branches that are leafy the branches that are fruitful starts to bear much fruit the branches that are leafy consume the nutrients and leave nothing for the branches that bear fruit and on account of it the fruits only bud and blossom and that is why the branches only reach to the stage to blossom and to bud and we need to know that buds and blossoms are not fruits now here we need to know that cutting of the branches that are leafy means cutting off anything that avoids fruition in our lives as well we waste our energy on activity rather than relationship with god the green leaf symbolizes hope renewal revival and life and the fruit symbolizes endurance obedience and persistence if we are fruitful it means that we are connected to the vine and we start bearing fruit when we start carrying the cross and christ likeness and godliness becomes a virtue the second point is abiding to transform in the book of genesis we read about god creating adam but one thing unique about the creation of mankind is that god used his hands to create adam we also read that when god created the world and everything in it god just said a word and everything came to existence when god created man god created man in his own image the bible also teaches us that god the father god the son god the holy spirit existed even before the creation so by this we understand that if god created man in his own image that means he would have looked at jesus and created man in the image of god so it is clear that adam looked very much like jesus when he was created but when 
Adam chose to sin and fall into sin there was guilt on his face there was shame on his face and the joy on his face was taken away he looked distraught and Adam no longer looked like Jesus in a family when a baby is born ideally grandparents try to match the looks they say the child looks very much like the father or say the child very much looks like the mother then as the child grows around 8 or 9 years old some features matches with the parents either the nose the ears the lips the lower jaw the forehead may look similar and when i was a kid when i was just about 8 or 9 years old well that was a time i was very attached to my mother and most people said i resemble my mother a lot but over time my father became very friendly with me and he used to share his story of his past life how he struggled in life and that's the reason i was well connected with him and from there on you no know, most people say that i started to look like my father it is often assumed that most boys resemble their mother and girls resemble their father however most children look like either the father or the mother based on whom they love the most and we look like jesus when we start loving jesus The third point is abiding to offer. When we start bearing fruit, it is in a way returning back what God purposed in our lives. We bear fruit only when the words of Jesus lives in us. A father spanks the child not because the child does the wrong things, but the child fails to imitate the father. God is well pleased when we start bearing fruit, and that is when we start looking like Jesus. Let me end up with a story and it is the story of two trees. One that grew tall that was cedar and the other one was the sycamore tree that was spreading its branches across. The cedar grew tall and looked at the sycamore tree and said, "Look, I'm growing skywards and very soon I'm going to touch the heavens and I can see a good view of the land below me but you are spreading across the ground the cedar often passed remark and made fun of the sycamore tree one day jesus came to rest under the shade of the sycamore tree jesus could hear the wailing of the sycamore tree and looked at the sycamore tree and asked what was making her cry the sycamore tree replied Master why did you create me in such a way that I am growing sideways rather than growing taller haven't you heard the remarks the cedar passes on me i am so hurt to hear all the taunts and the remarks jesus replied dear sycamore have you not noticed every person who passes this way taken shelter under you you even feed them with your fruit especially for people who are tired and hungry and you refresh them Even soldiers kings have taken shelter under you and not to forget Zacchaeus who climbed on one of your branches to see me over time you have been so accommodative but the cedar neither offered shade nor fruit when the sycamore heard it she was very happy to hear the words of comfort from Jesus after a couple of weeks a carpenter came with a woodcutter and came to inspect the two trees the woodcutters have their own way of inspecting the quality of wood what they do is they knock the trunk of the tree to find if the trunk is hollow from within the cedar was not happy and hated the fact of being chopped down the woodcutter was not happy with the quality of the cedar tree and moved to the sycamore the woodcutter knocked on the trunk of the sycamore tree and was convinced of the sound when he knocked the trunk the cedar laughed when the woodcutter raised the axe on the sycamore tree the sycamore was so sad because she thought that after her encounter with jesus she would live a life happily forever the woodcutter chopped the sycamore tree then the carpenter took the wood and made a huge cross out of it and in just 3 days jesus was crucified on it now on the same day judas who betrayed jesus went and hanged himself on the cedar tree the sycamore was so happy that though she was chopped but her contribution came in handy for her master jesus christ and thought if she had not been chopped then possibly judas would have hanged himself on one of her branches and that would have been 
a worst feeling my dear friends god may lead us through a time when people would make fun of us pass comments or even be judgmental we might even think that god is silent take heart god can never forsake us god is not far away from us but god is so close that he resides in our heart god who has redeemed called us and leading us can never forsake us but god will forsake the entire world to rescue us and god will never leave us neither forsake us god bless you all have a great day in jesus name amen